What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Now, you see this special, this is a very special guest here today for a very, this is a very highly, highly requested video that we, we finally giving y'all after almost <clears throat> two damn years or a year. Can I talk? A year or some time. Can I talk? You can like, talk all you want. Hi, my name is Nairi. Why the fuck do you got sunglasses on in the house? But look, man, y'all see Nairi. We got Hair her here. a little messed up. Listen, it's my... It's, it's her birthday. It's today. my G day. That's what that's what the hood people are saying. 2023. 20, I already turned 23 today. I'm 23. We grown now, so we wanted to come to y'all with a grown video and talk about some things that people be asking us in the DM still to this day. Because mm -hmm. y'all be nosy like that. Y'all know y'all seen me and Nairi on YouTube all these years and y'all want to still be nosy. Y'all ain't get enough. You feel me? They but, just want to um, know the T they cause we didn't really um like it's kind of like we broke up and we kind of just yeah, we never like, we never, we we never, never addressed told y'all how our relationship is or not we never we never told them why we broke up neither i'm pretty a lot of people ask me why we broke up in the first place we yeah. never sat and explained it so we never Man. explained on them deeply so today on her birthday we decided to do something juicy for y'all so y'all gotta hit the like button oh and there's gonna be a video on my channel like a part two so we're gonna answer some juicy questions on here and then some on the other video. Yeah, so make sure you go support Nairi's. We're going to answer a couple questions on mine. Juicy, juicy, juicy. And then we're going to go to Nairi's shit. Juicy, juicy, juicy. All these, both videos juicy. Oh, juicy. Okay, so this is a two-part series. You want to see the whole thing. Link in the description to Nairi's channel. And this probably the okay. video, she get it up on the same time as me. It's going to be like a competition. But uh, we about to get into this. No more talking. Leave a like. Become a Vine Game member. And uh, subscribe to Nairi, man. We about to get into this. Oh, let me think. Oh, this Lord. is... <laughs> this might get this might get crazy, you know. This might get crazy, but I think we should start off light. Um, we, uh, for starters, how ha how have we been? <laughs> <laughs> how oh have we been? man, how you been? I'm gonna ask the questions on mine. You have oh, okay, the okay. I'm, I had to get it started. You was taking too long. How have I been? Well, that's a good question. This though. past how, year, how has how has we been as a co-parents? Yeah. Um, With the breakup, oh, going through things, going through everything that a breakup go through. Plus, we got a kid, baby mama. Okay, I'm going to start off all that. Uh, about mama. how I how was feel, at bro? first in the beginning of the breakup. Um, in the beginning of the breakup, a lot of people don't know this, I was very depressed. I was, I was depressed for multiple reasons because I had postpartum because I just had a baby. And then my relationship that I was in for almost four years was done. Like it was just terrible. So I was very lost and I just didn't understand why the things that were happening to me were happening to me. I was like, this is not how I wanted it to be. Cause like, obviously I wanted to have like a family move into the big house, you know, backyard. Like I, I wanted that dream. So I was so messed up. But as the time went on, I kind of just, after watching so many women go through it too, I kind of just said, well, maybe it's just not for us. Like we were in each other's lives to get us but so far. And then now it's time for us to kind of go our separate ways. So right now I'm, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. How are you? You got to say how you was in the beginning. You got to, you got to, we gonna get you know. That's a good little extra. He never, you know what's crazy? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a real raw in this video. He never really told me how he fe felt in the beginning of everything ending. You okay. know. So this is like a surprise to you too. Right? Yeah, it is. Well, me, um, when me and Ari broke up, I'll never forget the day we were just sitting in the bathroom, and I asked her, "Do you really want to break up?" She said, "Yeah." Ever since that day. I'm really not no emotional person. I don't get emotional like that. A lot of things can't make me emotional. Like, it's hard to get it into, to, uh, to get me in my feelings. Like, it's only money and, like, shit like that. Like, or death or some shit. Crazy shit like that. That's the only thing that can get me in my feelings. Like, something like that. So, when me and Nari broke up, I wasn't in my head, in my feelings like that. I was more of, like, when she moved out. That's when, or when she left to go back to Jersey and all that, that's when I was more to myself and I got, I had time to think about everything. And of course I was sad about everything and I was, I was, you know, missing everything, but 
I knew that me and Nairi broke up for a reason. We wasn't you know, just breaking up. Me and Nairi not just going to break up and just for no reason. It was actual reason. Like It was years and years of us never breaking up. We broke up a couple times. And it wasn't it was like really no breakups. crazy yeah. shit. Nobody was really talking. Nobody knew. Nobody was doing nothing else. We it were still like seeing each other every day. We still lived, lived with in each the other. same house. We just mad at each other at the time. But this was a real one. So I was I was like different about it. Like I was hurt. It was a I, very but I was time. but I was more focused on like this shit can be better than our relationship. Like our friendship can be better than our relationship. So I was focused on trying to make our friendship better than our relationship, which I feel like um, our friendship is amazing. She broke up, she left this dude, she got a baby and left. Like that's not what it was. Like I had a reason behind um, breaking up with Devon, but I don't want to really go into like deep, deep details, but just know- Basically like, we broke up yeah, over we, arguing. That is no detail. Yeah, yeah we just- It's it just things just, we say to each other when we it already was told y'all before that we yeah. didn't say anything, like especially me, I say anything. And um, I be trying to I don't, tell They're calling about their name like no bitch or nothing, but I would say hurtful things like things that I know that would hurt somebody's heart other than just calling them out their name or yeah. something. I'd be arguing crazy, but. Next question. All right. Um, How you feel about co-parenting with me? I feel like it's cool, Devon. Devon has his ways that I'm still getting used to. Um, I do my own thing, man. He, he does his own thing. Now, and I really believe he in. a little bit too much. Um, if you want to give her this, let me ask her doctor first, this and that. Because he like, I'm gonna ask you my do mama. things like, okay, yes. <laughs> I'm going to ask my mom or my now, this, this dude be like, oh, I just gave her like some bits of hot dog. Like for one, no, because I'm not there. And just because she chokes. I and then like he just started giving her two percent milk like literally the day after she left my house i'm like we didn't even discuss this so he devon tends to do things and then it just it kind of irritates me because i'm like why are you doing these things like i'm not around like what if something happens what if she gets a allergic reaction what if this he's like you don't know you not the, you don't know like she's laughing grown. his That's mouth she's not grown she's like do you hear this see these are the things that no like, me no me. Yeah. She must be sleeping. She say, hey. Co-parenting is cool. Vaughn has always been a clown, funny. So I mean, on a funny, on a funny note, I could joke with him, but sometimes I feel like you kind of you do a lot and you know what you do. We don't have to discuss it, but you step out of that and you, you know, you be a little a-hole and you do certain things that we need to work on. And I'm not gonna sit here and act like we have the perfect co-parenting relationship because we because Vaughn have a smart mouth. We and still fight like a mother. We still fight and argue and disagree. Like, and I want to be, be about real. Babies oh. about Naomi, what I did with Naomi, or I want to be son with Naomi. I want to be real with you guys and not tell you everything is perfect. No, we still fight a little bit because I'm not gonna. I do stuff too, but he, Devon is like he knows it all. He thinks he knows everything. He literally thinks he's God. And he... I don't he, think I'm God. You know, why? You be acting like but you know everything. But I do everything. know everything, though. Like, everything you need to know, I know it. It's no getting through them. It, it's just like something that you just... It's him. That's how he is. And then you just got to let him learn on his own. That's the only problem that I have, for real, with his ex. Other than... I don't have any issues with Nairi. She do everything that I want. She take care of my daughter. With no hesitation, every time time take care of her, she don't complain. Yeah, she take shit. her, she take care take care of her like how I would. Like it's just simple. Like the only thing I would have a complaint with Nari is she just get mad about random things that she can't control. Like can't control things, you know. In my life, like if I want to get Naomi son, you can't control it. If I want to do something Naomi, you can't control it. You just have to work with me. It's that simple. That's all we go. That's all we be doing is working with each other. But there's no arguing over nothing crazy, like no stupid shit. Like we don't just call each other, motherfucker, you a bitch, and hang up. Like we got yeah, ain't none few, of that. We got into a few. We had a few. We didn't little, talk for a few days. He was when like, we get in an argument, we don't talk for days. We like, don't talk for. I will literally put him on block. I don't call her, and I just let it blow over, and then we get back and be like, nothing happened. Big one. Have you been happier since we've been broken up? Ooh, that's. This is from good. What, from the relationship that you remember, not all the past shit when we first met. I'm talking about from what you remember. I remember we, all of it from when we met. From with the now. feelings that you had in our relationship to, you know, the end, the end feelings that you had mm -hmm. till 
now, how do you feel? Like, do you feel um, better? Do you feel happy? I be real. Oh Lord. Okay. I don't want to like. My I feelings ain't gonna be hurt. I know. I don't know. It's not about your feelings. It's about everybody's feelings. I'm just gonna be honest. Um. <laughs> I. <laughs> when listen, okay. All right, I let's was, say it at the same time, yeah. Because now I'm gonna feel like my answer gonna be. Have, off have your you been answer. happier? Yeah. So on the count of three, have you been happier? Out of a relationship with me. One, Three, two, two, one. Yes. yes. I have. I but have. it's not in a bad way. It's just like I don't have to fight with him anymore. That's the good part. Nobody. My shit is I don't have to deal with nobody. My main thing is when it comes to females or a girl. It don't matter how long we've been together. Your emotions is the most difficult thing. So you're saying you don't deal with, with emotions? I hate dealing with emotions. When you got emotions that I feel like I can't deal with, like they just in your head, they just part of you, mm -hmm. then I be getting mad when the nigga So you don't deal you because don't, it's hard for me to deal with somebody. You deal like, if whoever you deal with and I'm, I'm I just, I'm want just you to be like this, me, I'm gonna just be real. Whoever he deal with, everybody know. He deals you gotta deal with the person's emotions no matter what. I know so you, you can't say you can't deal. You don't deal with emotion. But you do. It's, I'm saying that's my main thing. That's the hardest part. And since me and you broken up, the main thing I had to do was deal with your emotions and how you was feeling. It. Like Nari used to wake me up. Like literally, this is one of the I things. See. Okay, right, we gonna go deep. Okay, this is, go I swear to God on my life. <laughs> don't even. I know what you're about to say. And no, you're funny. I Yvonne. swear to God on my life. Okay. I don't remember no other argument. I don't remember. I know what he's about to say. That we broke up over. I remember her ass waking me up every night because I was snoring. Now, look. She said, I can't take you snoring. So we used to be up in the middle of the night, 4 a.m., waking each other. Well, she would be waking me up, arguing with me, talking about you snoring. No, no, Go no, to no, the no, couch. No. Go to the couch. Get out. Blah, blah, blah. Point where, like, I wasn't getting any sleep while I was pregnant. Like, I would just, you know the mood swings. I would say, Devon. Please, like I would, do, I would tap him like this at first. Of course, you pregnant. She, you coming with stick, a broom stick? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. He's okay. lying. Listen, I would just say, look, please, like just for the night, go on the couch, and that is normal. Like not every relationship is oh, perfect. Oh, seven days in a row. When? I was just, li I was living on the couch at a point. Uh, Where she, I, in her pregnancy, I just. Start going to the couch because I don't want her to sleep. No, 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 no. There wasn't you, no issue. He started going on the couch because we broke up. Oh, we did. Get it right. But I was on the couch before that. That well, in the, during my pregnancy, you were on the couch because I couldn't take. I had to get my sleep. I was so tired, and he snores so freaking I said, loud. Fuck you'd be on the couch. He, <laughs> he would be. I'll come out in the living room in the morning, and he'd be slumped. I'd feel so bad. Like, oh damn, I'm a bitch for that. But still, like. I just, I had to get sleep and Devon, Devon, we used to try everything. He's like, do you want me to put something in my nose? I'm like, no. Because what if you choke on like, it? Nigga, if you care about me snoring, blah, 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 you give me something for my nose. <laughs> yeah. Like he would shit. get up in the middle of the night. Like, <laughs> he would get, literally get up in the bed. Like, it would be pure dark in the room. He would start flipping if I woke him up. Devon does not like me waking up. And that's one good. thing I used to do. She and, didn't give a fuck. And that's one of my biggest thing I hate when somebody wakes like, me up. Like he'll be like, "Why do you keep waking me up?" He'll take his pillow and go in the living room. I'm like, no, I don't want you to go in the living room. So, yeah. And then I really used to not let me sleep neither. If I try to stay up, or she try to, she want to stay up in the middle of the night, and I try to go to sleep, she'd be getting mad, arguing. Like he do, but like, it'd be like little shit like that. It's like that, no, but it. That's like, what we was arguing. It was, it, and it become, it became bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. You turn that, oh, you snoring into, shut the fuck up, you stupid as hell, motherfucker. Blah, blah, blah. It would be times I that you. I just don't feel like Vaughn had cared about my emotions. Like he, he would just point the finger, like you're the reason why. This is like a therapy session, but you would say like you're the reason why this and then like you started blaming me for every single thing we were going through. And then that's I'm why saying, I, I'm the type of nigga. I don't like to talk about what's going on. I like to talk about where it started at. If it started from you saying this to me or you getting mad about this, that's we wouldn't be arguing if it never even started. But that's however, the type of mindset I got. But then it's like if you don't it's want hard the, to get in that mindset. if you don't want it to escalate, it's about how you Fuck react it. to don't it. Start with me. It ain't and, no and, it, and sometimes I wouldn't start to. You would purposely try to make me upset for me to get mad. And when I when I when I get at you. Then it's just like, 
Well, you did it for getting all about what you do. <laughs> and he knows he, that's why he's laughing because he that. knows he does stuff but I do, like that. I got a bad memory. I forget that I even did. He forgets everything he does. But well, all right, okay. let's move on. All right, so this is the last question. Then we're going to move on. We're going to do part two on Nari channel. Uh, okay. Make sure you go over there. We're going to have more juicy questions. These are going to be from her head. These are just from my head, what I want to know okay. and what I feel like my people want to know. So have you moved on with anybody else since me and you broke up? Like moved on like how? Like, have you moved on, like, when anybody taking them serious, like, okay, I'm mm -hmm. talking to this person, taking them serious, you ain't got to say the name, you just got to say, um, and how do you feel about it, like, is it weird to you, do it, um, okay, I haven't moved on, like, took anybody super seriously after Devon, um, I'm the type of person where after every relationship I've ever been in, I would be quick to be in the next relationship, like, when I met Devon, I was like, Get, like ending things completely with my ex so it's like i never been just by myself and stuff like that but as far as being um serious with somebody no i'm not serious with nobody it's been a year i haven't had no relationship i'm not i'm just chilling just focusing on myself and figuring out things that i need to learn as a person so that i could be the best girlfriend for the next man um you said is it weird I'm not going to lie, like, if I was to have a conversation with somebody, it is kind of weird because I was in this relationship for so long that all I know is what I've learned about him and what, because we, we done, we've accomplished so much together. We moved together, we built a channel together, we had a baby together, so it's like, it's hard to, like, not look back and think, like, dang, like, my ex, my ex, like, he did this or he did that or whatever, whatever. But um, as far as like getting like, I'm not in a relationship. I'm not really like seriously with somebody. How about you, Mr. Glenn Brown TV? Oh, uh, shit. Well, people already know my situation. Y'all can see it. But Are you in a relationship? I'm not dating nobody. But you already know that I will talk, I'm talking to somebody heavy. Um, the way it feel, it, it's not weird anymore to me like to be talking to somebody. Like when I first met Destiny... And I was just talking to girls and talking to different people and shit. Like, I was just, it'd be like, you know, weird. And I'd be trying to hide it and just, you know, just talk, not even mm -hmm. say nothing about it. But now that Eric, all this time passed, it's just like, I really look at Nari like my friend. Like, I don't look at her no differently. I look at her like my friend who was my baby, who was my ex. Like, it's like, yo, you meet a girl in high school. You was talking to her in high school. They dated her. Then you meet her after high school. And y'all niggas just might be cool or something. She just might be cool people. Now, I really like exactly what I needed for a baby mama. Like, I knew if things didn't work out with Nari, that me and Nari could still have a relationship, still be cool, still build son. She's going to take care of my daughter. She ain't going to be out here thotting. She ain't going to be out here making me look bad. Like, oh, that's his baby mama out here. No. One thing about Devon, like, you know I'm always going to, like, Devon, I'm going to always show respect. Because I, I have so much respect for Devon in different ways even though he sometimes makes me upset but me and Devon had a while we were in the relationship we were like best friends i know it may sound like it was all bad but we were really like yeah me and i had different friends. relationships like so it was just very different when it kind of girls and stuff like me and i used to talk about girls all the time do a little weird shit with girls that's what yeah we used like to, that we can't even talk about like it's just like it's just came in. so yeah. girls to me is like is is different talking to a girl seriously but it's like cool, like it's just regular. Like I'm not really thinking about nothing deeply like that. Cause I know that me and Ari is just working on our friendship. It ain't nothing to really think about. Okay. But it is weird moving on and trying to find somebody new to talk to and somebody to, to you know, move forward. And with. then plus you have a kid gotta, now, so you gotta think like. Yeah, I gotta adjust with Nari on me. Like before, I was just it'd be whatever. Now yeah. I gotta make time and stuff, so it's different. So right. it's all about. How I feel and what the girl want to deal with, and you know she can deal with me, baby mama and my daughter in my life, and especially when I'm dropping Naomi off, I might not even have time to hang out with the girl. I might still be going somewhere with my friends or have something going on because my life is that. Right. So it's all about that. I'm just trying to find an adjustment, you know, trying to find something nice, and I'm glad we did this video. So we're gonna do a part two. Nari channel. I'm gonna cut it up, make this nice and clean for y'all. Y'all get all the juiciness. Mm -hmm. Make sure you go subscribe. The link will be in her description. And we're going to be doing a part two on that. We're going to see what she's going to ask us. Okay, then I've been asking these juiciness. So let's see what she asked me.
All right. So let's say bye and uh, yeah, we out of here.